Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Kathy Lynn Che from Split, published by Alice James Books in 2014. Um, and this is a poem entitled Transmutations. You watch the fire break into pieces, flecks of cinder jag like fireflies. There is a hole in your shirt. Fireworks howl in the street behind you. A wave lunges and disperses. One property of water is fluidity. You kiss it and it stays on your lips. Soon it will evaporate and return to its own giant body. I buried copper pots in the yard. When I dug them up, they were tarnished and mint green. I buried my hands, and they rose up pale and pink as earthworms after some rain. Eventually, I buried my body. When you dug me out, I was bone white and flashing. My cousin read my moles. This one means beware of water. This one, trouble giving birth. A fly landed here when you were a child. Your tight nostrils are lined with money. Your back is long and very lazy. This is a beauty mark, she paused, a sign of bad luck. The bathwater is clouded with dirt and soap. I look into it and read my past. It is a difficult book. I prop it up. It flaps its pages. It is preening in the wind. Um, and that was... Transmutations by Kathy Lynn Shea from Split, published by Alice James Books in 2014. Um, if you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the, uh, the video description for more information about Kathy Lynn Shea, as well as a link to purchase the book and more information about other projects and series that I'm working on. Um, I'm grateful for all of you who are viewers who uh, watch these videos and share them on social media. I'm thankful for all of you who like these videos and subscribe to the channel. That's uh, wonderful. It's a way to support me. Um, but most of all, I'm grateful for any small amount of, uh, of increase, I think, in the world of poetry uh, in the capacity to understand each other and to feel compassion for each other and to mourn with each other and to lift each other when we are down. And I am grateful for the power of language and art to cultivate change, transformation, um, and to be reminded of the ways in which we can facilitate that change in our world. So um, I'm grateful for our voices and hope you use yours and hope that you write, that you create, that you communicate and that you build bridges and find ways to stand up for those things which are good and valuable uh, and meaningful and for each other as fellow human beings. So I'm thankful for all of you and wish you all the very best um, on this weekend. And we'll catch you again soon in the next video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So until then, I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series, and we'll be back again with more poetry, um, more reading, and more discovery. Uh, let's celebrate poetry, and let's find a way to connect to each other. And these things I'm sharing with you uh, as we uh, head into a new week. Until then, take care, and goodbye.